All right, good morning, second grade students. Today, for language arts, we are going to be talking about homophones with pictures. So first off, we need to know what exactly are homophones. So homophones are words having the same sound or pronunciation, but different spelling and meaning. So let's look at some examples of what homophones are. All right, so our first example here is the words C and C. So if we spell C, S-E-E, -E, it means to look at something. But if we spell C, S-E-A, we are talking about a body of water. All right, next up is the word break and break. So when we spell break, B-R-A-K-E, it is meant as something that is used to stop a car or a bike. And then if we spell it B-R-E-A-K, we are talking about to physically wreck or destroy something. Next up is male and male. So first up, we're going to talk about male spelled M-A-I-L. And this is referring to a letter or postcard that we send out or receive. And then if we spell male M-A-L-E, we are talking about a man or a boy. Next, we have the word board and board. So if we spell board, B-O-R-E-D, it means to lack interest in something. Right? So you don't find it to be very fun. Next up is the word board, spelled B-O-A-R-D. And now this one can go a few different ways. So it can mean a piece of wood, like we see here, or it can also describe what people write or put things on. So we could talk about like a cork board where you take little pins and you can stick like pieces of paper on there. Or like at school, we use like whiteboards or smart boards, um, or even like we could talk about chalkboards as well. All right, next up we have one and one. So if we spell it W-O-N, it means to win something, such as a competition. And then this one is probably very familiar to you. If we spell one O-N-E, it is the number after zero and before two. All right, and our last example we're gonna look at right now is hair and hair. So if we spell hair H-A-I-R, we are referring to the hair we have on our heads. And if we are talking about hair spelled H-A-R-E, it is another name for a bunny or a rabbit. All right, and that is our language arts lesson for today.